As I'm sure you may know, the salary that you can expect will be based on several factors, including your years of experience, proficiency in the specific platform, such as Siemens, Allen Bradley, or Modicon, and so on. Other factors may include your ability to draft or design electrical panel drawings, programming of human-machine interfaces, or HMIs, or plant control systems, such as Wonderware, iFix, or WinCC, schooling certificates or degrees, and others. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to click like and subscribe so you never miss a new one. Trying to define a salary expectation is difficult because of the many factors, but as a baseline, I've seen wages as low as $12 US dollars an hour for an entry-level PLC programmer, meaning previous training but no actual on-the-job experience. Of course, that entry-level wage changes if you have some electrical drafting or designing skills. Again, the salary will change with HMI programming knowledge. If you have many years of experience and a wide variety of platforms, etc., you could expect as much as $55 US dollars as your hourly wage. As you can see, there are many factors that go into the base of a salary consideration. To give you an example, I'll tell you about some of the experiences I have previously seen. In the early 2000s, a contract position at Company A was acquired by a colleague. At that time, the candidate had several years of experience in both PLC and HMI programming. That employee was paid about $5 more an hour than the average wage of $30 US dollars an hour. The reason was because as a contract employee, there are no benefits such as time off or health care. So a larger hourly wage is required in order to compensate for benefits and attract candidates. After about one and a half years, the employee left Company A and decided to further his education while earning a bachelor's degree. Many years later, that employee was contacted again by Company A for a position that they had open. This time, the job was a direct employment position with benefits. The direct position salary ended up being about $12,000 a year less than his previous contract position. Reason being, direct hire positions have benefits packages, which the companies equate to salary. So, if they paid part of his insurance at $7,000 a year, and he got a couple of weeks of vacation, then that would come to some amount that would be considered total compensation when added to the salary. You may have caught on that the employee had previously worked for this company, and they required no degree at that time. But, when they wanted the employee to come on as a direct hire, the qualifications for that position changed. As you can see from those experiences, things vary greatly based on many, many factors. What I can tell you is, you can expect anything from $25,000 to as high as $115,000 annual salary. Don't forget that you're the best advocate for negotiating your wage. Always do your homework about the company, the requirements, expectations, benefits, etc. Then factor in your experience with that data. At that point, you can make an educated guess on what salary expectations you can have for your next position. Make sure that you head over to realpars.com to find even more training material for all of your PLC programming needs. We offer many videos to assist you in learning PLC programming and landing that job in the high paying, highly sought after field of automation and controls engineering. Go to realpars.com and subscribe to our highly effective training series now.